so all over everyone so <clears throat> as i told you uh, in this session we are going to start with the rcc detailing of simply supported beam okay so on the screen we can see uh, the already uh, prepared drawing of uh, singly reinforced beam we have okay so uh, you have to prepare the same drawing the same detailing part in the autocad so this is for the reference i am going to use so the same drawing we are going to prepare in the uh, autocad okay so here we have uh, the two types of drawings one is uh, longitudinal section so this is the longitudinal section we have and one more we have uh, 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 what you can see this is a longitudinal section and we have uh, the cross section okay uh, we have two cross section here one is the cross section at a and cross section at b okay uh, that is the cross section at a is at a uh, that is near support and the cross section at b it is at mid span understood so uh, we have the uh, uh, reinforcement detailing part also the reinforcement that is the bottom reinforcement we have four bars of 16 mm dia and the hanger bars we have uh, two bars uh, of 12 mm dia okay and the stirrups okay the stirrups are uh, uh, two lvs that is nothing but two legged vertical stirrups 8 mm dia at uh, 300 mm center to center okay and near support at a distance of l by 7 we have it is uh, at a distance of 150 mm center to center okay and the one more important uh, we have the clear span of the beam is uh, 5 meter or 5000 mm and the supports okay the we have the brick masonry supports of uh, 230 mm thickness okay so these are the uh, uh, the, the detailing part what you can see in the longitudinal section and the cross section the depth of the section is given here it is uh, 450 mm and the width of the section is 230 so the beam size is uh, 230 by 450 mm okay so we have to draw the cross sections here uh, same um, in the AutoCAD that is cross section at AA and cross section at BB okay Hmm, understood so we'll begin with uh, the detailing part using autocad so we'll go to autocad so when i click this okay you can see this window here hmm. uh, so again you have to go to file you have to say save hmm. so i'll aware i think uh, we have saved here already in the you have to save that in your particular file location so i'll go to f drive uh, f drive we have one minute sorry f drive then we'll go to detailing lab so i'll name it here uh, uh, rcc beam okay hmm? or uh, yes 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 dot yes yes dot yet yes simply supported rcc beam so i'll save here okay so after saving hmm, the file the first the important is units you have to fix the units so we are you have to go you have to go to format and you have to say click on units either or you, you can directly type unit hmm? you type unit so you'll observe okay you'll get this window you'll get this window okay so first of all decimal you check uh, precision you can make it like this or then after that uh, you make it millimeter here if you want to draw the mil in meter or uh, feet inches hmm, uh, you can set with that so uh, you uh, you set a millimeter here because we are going to draw the detailing in millimeter so you mill uh, uh, fix it in millimeter so then you say okay okay then after that you have to fix the limits you have to fix the limits so again you have to go to format go to drawing limits okay so for uh, the beam it is uh, uh, it is very uh, small in size because the span is 5000 
so 10 times I will fix the limits so 5000 so I will make it 50,000 so it is asking what it is asking what you can see here specify lower left corner so you make it 0 0 only 0 tab 0 enter then he is asking what upper right corner okay upper right corner the ordinate the points he is asking the ordinates of upper right corner so I will make it 50,000 tab 50,000 okay so say enter so then you, you have to say zoom z enter a enter means what it is zoom all zoom enter a enter zoom all okay then you have to start with the detailing part okay before starting the detailing part you have to fix the units and limits so limits how you have to fix based on your uh, drawing the type of drawing you have okay so our drawing is very small so i have selected 50000 by 50000 because span of the span of the beam is only 5000 so we can go for 50000 by 50000 so we'll start with the larger section so we'll fix uh, we'll have the <coughs> uh, we'll draw the larger section first so what you have to do you have to go to line command you have to select line command so what you have to do you have to select horizontal line so for that uh, it is uh, it is not orthogonal so you have to select you have to click it ortho on here it is option or you can use directly use f8 when you click f8 it will get on or off it will get activated or deactivated so i'll uh, draw a beam span uh, that is the total span 5000 plus both side we have the uh, wall thickness 230 230 so it will be uh, 5000 plus 460 so 5640 correct uh, no sorry sorry it will be uh, 400 okay 5460 5460 so I will say enter hmm? so you can see the line you have drawn it is of size 5460 if you want to check the dimensions you have to go to linear again and select you can see uh, here yes it is 5460 now the dimensions are not visible so what you have to go you have to go to again dimensions uh, dimension style then go to modify then after when you say modify you have to go to first of all uh, the text text is not visible here so you have to go to text so you increase the I'll make it 25 so you increase the text height and the symbol and arrows also I'll make it 25 and let's check so whether it will be enough to observe or it will be visible okay say okay and say set current and you have to say close okay now this is still you have to increase so again i'll go to dimension style you can go directly d enter then again i'll modify so i'll make it uh, arrow size again to uh, i'll make it 100 we'll see 100 then you have to go to again text i'll make it 100 here both I will keep it same okay set current close yes now it is see it is 5460 so I will delete this hmm? so then the beam depth is 450 so you have to go to offset you can see here the depth of beam is given here 450 so here uh, so you have to go to offset or you can use line command both so I will use line if you want so line command what is the line 450 450 enter then again you have to draw a line hmm. either you can do like this or you can give offset offset 450 450 enter yes 450 enter then again you join this hmm. then you have to show the reinforcement okay this is the beam now then you have to show the reinforcement so the reinforcement again you can give offset uh, and the uh, cover of 30 mm okay so you can give the reinforcement top reinforcement bottom reinforcement the core of 30 okay uh, after that uh, you have to give the cover here also what you can see so i will go to again autocad so here also i will go to offset offset 30 mm this side and again 30 mm this side correct so i will just hmm? and then you have to trim this you have to trim this so what you what you have to do trim so you have to go to modify we have the option trim trim enter enter so what you have to do trim double enter so you click delete this delete this 
and delete this delete this okay so so on here you have to delete 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 and trim or delete okay then again we have to give uh, the offset here so you can give 50 mm offset enter he is asking the distance so 50 mm enter so you can give offset here offset from here to here okay then again you trim it so trim double enter 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 trim trim later you can delete this you can delete this hmm? yes it is understood clear now after showing the longitudinal reinforcement you have to show the stirrups so stirrups kaise karoge aap so the first stirrup the first stirrup should be at a distance of 50 mm from the bar okay so i'll draw the line of 50 mm here enter and same line i'll project and i'll draw it here so the first stirrup we have drawn you can delete this line you can select like this and you can delete okay so we have deleted so i'll give the offset the stirrups are so right now i'll give at a distance of 300 mm offset 300 but you have to prepare uh, the drawing according to the uh, sketch available so, but for the practice i'll give at a 300 300 then so on or what you can do after one offset you you select and say copy okay so where that option modify copy so you select hmm, and say enter so when you say enter you have to select this base point and you have to click come to this base point click it again you have to click again so on same you have to do it okay so you have selected here and one uh, it is uh, okay you can manage that uh, uh, the distance uh, is you can manage here okay so this thing uh, this is regarding the shrubs so you have to provide one more shrub here so this distance is uh, going beyond with this okay so we have to manage here okay so we can move okay so we have managed hmm. then we have uh, we have to draw the supports so supports how you have to draw you have to draw line drawing enter then offset of that line again you can use offset 230 mm enter okay so this side also you can copy that copy so you can come here and you can join okay so we got and if you want to measure the dimensions the clear span of the beam is if you want to measure it is 5000 you can see here the clear span of the beam is 5000 okay so this is regarding the longitudinal section okay then you have to uh, show the uh, dimensions also okay so other dimensions like so on you to show the dimensions the depth of beam is 450 then other uh, detailing part okay that is regarding the uh, bars and other things so what you have to do so we can go to uh, modify oh, sorry the uh, draw commands mm. you can use uh, text or leader anything so if you want to draw mm, here also you can use draw text multi-line or single line okay i'll use multi-line text so what you have to do suppose i want to show this hmm. Hmm. so you are you have to type you have to type so i'll reduce uh, i'll just type here hmm. uh, that is the top bar or hanger bars h a n g e r b a r s and i'll say okay i'll say okay but it is not visible here na? so what you can do you select this and uh, right click say go to properties okay so you can see this okay so here what you have to do here you have to uh, come down again you drag this so you have to change the height so i'll make it 50 you'll we'll see what will happen okay so when i make it 50 so this is visible now okay so you have to write like this then same you copy here co copy then you write main bars here okay so double click on this so you can write main bars m a i n bars okay whatever the text you can write main bars then you have to go for next mm. 
leader uh, so you have to go to again dimension style uh, the leader is available here so you just click on this if you want to off ortho, you can off ortho. Yes, say escape. One leader is over. Same if you want to show it here, you want to show it here like this. Main bars, okay. This way you have to show the detailing part, okay. Then you have to same you have to show for uh, the syrups. Okay, you have to create a text. You copy and you edit. Hmm? You have to show the lead, leader as well. Then you have to show you have to go you have to show the hatching. So you close this first. So what you have to do for hatching? You have to go to draw command hatch. Hatch when you click on hatch. So you you have to select the uh, pattern. So you go to here and you have to go for bricks or you can go to iso hmm. you can select this also for bricks okay you can select this brick say okay then you have to say add pick point when you see uh, click on pick so you have to click within the boundary so click again enter say preview so you have to change the scale so again enter so you have to change the scale so you may, i'll make it 10 so we'll see what will happen say again say preview okay now this is enough say then say okay so how to show the hatch i have just shown you how to show the hatch then again you have to go to like this so <clears throat> again hatch command pick point select enter preview okay so this way you have to show the hatching now one thing uh, I forgot to uh, tell you that you can create a layers here layer so what you can do here layers so I will create a layer here uh, I will create for uh, bars and I will create one more layer for so bars I will give color so I will give color so I will give uh, this color okay and uh, one more layer for uh, the brick masonry all right bm i'll give bm brick masonry i'll give uh, this color so okay so i'll show you how to match the layers now so whatever the bars are there so for uh, hatching for masonry you have to give the bm na so you have to go here you select the particular drawing okay uh, to give a layer so you have to select and you have to go here just say i think i have not saved that so i'll go to layers once again okay already okay so you have to go to uh, bars so i'll select color okay then i'll go to again bm brick masonry bm i'll select a color so I'll give color like this or this. Okay. Ah, uh, color I have not change. Okay. The color is not changing here. Let it be. So apply. Okay. Hmm. So then what you have to do? You have to select a messenger here. So I'll select. Hmm. You have to select and you have to give. You have to give BM. So this way, I think uh, color we can change the color. So you try it. You can change the color also. So bars. Hmm. You can change your layer here. So I I'll give a bars for that. I can give uh, green color. Okay. So this way you can give the layers. So this is regarding the layers. Okay. Understood. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this way you can create a drawing. Hmm? Same way you have to draw the cross sectional drawing also. Hmm? Cross section drawing also. And this is uh, regarding this. If you get any queries, I will share the drawing, even the video in the group. And regarding this, if you get any queries, you can uh, contact me. Hmm? Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.